Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is the first video of a tutorial series to Digital Performer 10. This video is perfect for you if you try to produce music for the very first time in your life or if you come from another program like Logic, Ableton or Cubase and try to dive in as fast as possible in Digital Performer. If you open Digital Performer, you should see this window where you are able to create a new song and we want an empty song. So here it says empty, so we click on new. Now Digital Performer asks us to save our song. So I type in my name, Thomas Foster. I go to the desktop and say save. Now you're here on the left side, you see something that you should know, the transport window with the play button and the stop button. So I say play and immediately I see how the cursor is moving. I see here the bass and beats of my song and here I see the time. Uh, with the stop button it stops immediately, but there's a simpler way to do it. You can do it with the space key of your keyboard. The first time you click it's play, the second time you click it's stop, play, stop. Very easy. If you want to hear the bass and beats, just activate the metronome here where it says click. Okay, now we listen. One, two, three, four. Now we hear the metronome. This tempo is 120 beats per minute. You can see this here. This is maybe good for a house or techno track. Maybe a little bit faster would be cool. But we want to create a very slow song, maybe a hip hop song or something like that. So I double click the tempo and type in 90 BPM, 90 beats per minute. And now let's listen to this. Two, three, four, two. That's perfect. That's wonderful. If you don't hear the metronome right now, you should go to Setup, um, Configure Audio System, Configure Hardware Driver. And here you should choose your audio card to be able to hear something through your audio card. The first thing we want to create is a beat. For this we need a drum machine. So we right click in this window. If you don't have a right mouse, you can also control click in this window. Now we go to add track. What we want is an instrument track. Now here you see many plugins that I have installed on my computer. Maybe you don't have installed so much plugins, but what you should see at your computer is insert settings because here you find all the sounds of Digital Performer. Let's choose the Model 12 and the extra drums. And now opens a new window. That's the drum machine called Model 12. And here with this little arrows, you can listen to the sounds, the bass drum, the rim shot, the snare, the close hi-hat, the open hi-hat, the toms, etc. But the sounds we hear are more from a real plate acoustic drum kit. What we want is more drum machine like the TR808 of the company Roland. So we can change the sound of every plugin with this menu here where it says presets acoustic kit one. So let's click on that. We want to have something like the 808. So let's go to 800 series one. And now we hear sounds that are better for hip hop, right? So that's great. Let's close this window. And now we need a second track where we place our MIDI notes. So right click or control click in this window, uh, add track. MIDI track. Wonderful. In my case, it says complete control because I have the complete control keyboard here. Um, let's click on that, whatever it says on your side, and go here to model 12 one in. If you have a MIDI keyboard connected to your computer, you should be able to play the sounds of the drum machine on your keyboard. If you don't have a keyboard, don't worry, we will create the beat with the mouse. All right, uh, now we go to the MIDI track. 
in the first bar and make a double click to open the MIDI note editor. Here we see exactly the same bars that we have up here. And because we don't want to press play and stop all the time, we want to create a loop. You find the loop button here in the second line, button number three, where it says memory cycle. We click on it and now we see here a loop icon from here to here, looping four bars until bar five. Let's listen to this. I press the space key. Two, two, three, four, bar three. And then it plays bar four and after bar four it jumps again to bar one. We said we want to have a loop of two bars. So let's move this ending here from bar five to bar three. Now we have two bars in a loop. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four and loop. Perfect. This loop here we want to see as big as possible. So let's click here on the plus to uh, zoom in horizontal. One time, two time, now it's perfect. Now I can see these two bars. Let's take a look again. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So this is bar one with four beats and bar two with one, two, three, four beats. We want to see a little bit bigger our keys. So let's click here on this icon. And while you hold down the mouse, move the mouse to the right to make the notes even bigger. The sounds we are searching for are on the C1. So maybe you have to scroll here or with the wheel on your mouse to find the C1. D1, the kick and the snare. Okay, we want to place the bass drum on the one. So for this you need the right mouse icon. You can change the mouse icon here. Let's click on it, hold down and go to the pencil. All right. And now we just click in the first frame here on the C1 to place a bass drum here. And the snare drum we place on the one, two, so the second beat of our bar, and the one, four. All right, let's listen to this. Perfect. And we re repeat the same in the second bar. On the two, one, we place our uh, bass drum, and on the two, Two and the two four the snare drum. Now we want to place another bass drum on the one three three. So here's the one three, and now we go two sixteenths to the right. One two. Here we need a bass drum, and also here two three and two to the right. Okay, let's listen to this. Let's listen without the metronome, so we don't need the metronome anymore. Let's go. Very simple, but very cool. The next thing we want to create is a hi-hat. So we move up here a little bit to the F sharp one. And now it's important that the hi-hat is not too long. If you make something that you want to remove again, you can use the command set or control set to make undo and then you undo the last step you did. All right. We want to make a very short hi-hat exactly with the length of 116. So this is 116. So you click here, hold down the mouse, move to the right until you have exactly not 216, 116. Okay, the next time you just have to click because the next length is exactly the same. Let's place a hi-hat on every 16th of our two bars. All right, and we do this until bar three. Okay, let's listen to this. One, two, three, four. 
Wonderful. Here at the end, at 2-4, I want to create something very special that you will like. So let's place the locator exactly on 2.4. And now if we zoom in, we zoom in in this area here from 2.4 to 3.1. Make it as big as possible. Like this is cool. Or maybe a little bigger. Yeah, let's take a look to the last four notes that we made on the hi-hat. At the first note, I want to create eight small notes, also on the third note. The second and the fourth we just erase by clicking on it. All right. Now let's erase this note and replace it by eight small notes. We click here, hold down and move to the right until we have a very small note. And now we place it eight times until here. The same we do here. I click on the note to erase it and replace it by eight small notes. Wonderful. Let's listen to this. Perfect. Next thing we want to do is to create a bass. So we need two tracks, the bass track with the sound and the MIDI track where we can place our notes. So right or control click in this window, add track, instrument track, insert settings, bass line. All right. This is our bass. And we make a second note, right click here, add track, MIDI track. Where it says complete control, at your end it will say something else. Click on it and change it to baseline 1 in. Alright. If you have a keyboard, you should be able to play it. And again here, where it says presets, none, you can change the sound. Listen to the sounds. There are many great sounds. I will go to, in the analog menu, to subsource. Wonderful. And to get a note editor, a MIDI editor for our bass, let's double click on the MIDI 2 track here in the first bar. Double click. Now we have our window. And the first note we want to create on the E2. And we want to place a note on every bass drum, means on every kick, and play it until the next snare. So the first bass drum is on the 1-1. One, one. So we click here on the E2, on the very beginning, and move it until 1-2, where the snare is, right? Perfect. The next bass drum is here on the 1-3-3. Three, three. And here we want to place a G, and we stop it at the 1-4. The next bass drum is on the 2.1. And we place a F sharp 2 and move it until 2-2. Two, two. And again, the last bass drum is on the 2-3-3. Three, three, and we move it until 2.4 on the A2. Let's listen to this. From the beginning. I like it. The only problem is the bass is much too loud. So let's activate the bass line where our bass sound is and move here from tracks to another tab called mixing board. And here you see the fader of the bass line because we activated the bass line. We can see it now. And let's bring it down to, let's say, minus 12. Okay, let's listen to this. My name is Thomas Foster and this is my YouTube or Facebook channel Thomas Foster Music Production where you can find out all about music production. If you have any questions about this video or digital performer, 
please write me in the comments. In order not to miss any of the other videos, please subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to click the bell so you will be informed about more videos. At that point I say thanks for being there, always stay creative, cheers!